powered the 6-volt motor using a 12-volt battery, it started spinning rapidly and drove the 12-volt motor like a mini-generator. The result? A shocking 38 volts of DC power. But how did a 12-volt setup produce 38 volts? Can you figure out the science behind this surprising outcome? Share your thoughts in the comments. Today, I have built a simple yet interesting electrical project, a small bell that runs on just two AA batteries. It's an easy DIY project that anyone can try at home. Do you have any ideas for improving this setup or want to suggest any modifications? Let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and creative suggestions. This is a Melody integrated circuit, the UTCUM66T19LK, which is designed to produce a musical tone when powered. I have carefully soldered it to a buzzer, creating a simple yet effective musical alarm system. When I connected a 3.7 volt battery, the circuit immediately started playing a pleasant melody. This small yet powerful IC is commonly used in doorbells, toys, and musical greeting cards, making it a great choice for fun DIY projects. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment with your thoughts or any improvements you'd suggest. This is a small supercapacitor, but have you ever wondered if it has enough stored energy to power a light bulb? Let's put it to the test. First, I'll fully charge the supercapacitor to store as much energy as possible. Once it's ready, we'll connect it to the bulb and see what happens. Now for the exciting part, and look at that. The bulb lights up beautifully. It's amazing how this tiny component can hold and release energy so effectively. If you found this experiment interesting, don't forget to like, share, and leave a comment with your thoughts. Today I have built a working model of a water level indicator designed to monitor the water level in a tank. To demonstrate how it works, I will test it using a simple water glass instead of a large tank. This model is designed to show how water levels can be easily monitored using LED indicators. Now let's test it. I slowly start pouring water into the glass, and as the water level rises, something amazing happens. The LEDs begin to light up one by one, from the bottom to the top. This visually represents the increasing water level, just like how a real water tank level indicator works. Don't forget to like, share, and comment if you enjoyed this experiment. In this experiment, I attached a heavy wheel to a DC motor and powered a coin battery, instantly bringing it to life. But the real magic happens when the lights go off. The glowing LED 